Hello and welcome to Own It The Hard App. This is a podcast for all things safety. My name is Brian Mesmer at Mesmer Safety on all the social medias. And today is Monday, December 5th. And we are going to be talking about respiratory protection. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Employees can re request respiratory protection on a voluntary basis if they feel the job site conditions warrant such use. Voluntary respirators shall be at least N95 rated. That means 95% of particulate matter does not come through the mask. If engineering controls are not feasible or respiratory hazards cannot be eliminated, employees shall be issued respiratory protection if employees could be exposed to chemicals or hazardous agents. There are two basic types of respirators, one air purifying respirators, and essentially these uh, are the cartridge type respirators. They remove contaminants from the air, but they should not and cannot be used in what we call IDLH atmosphere, so that's immediately dangerous to life and health. They must have sufficient oxygen in the area because you're not supplying any oxygen to that respirator. Again, you're filtering the air through the cartridge. Or, yeah. And then uh, they can come in either half face or full faced. And then the other type of respirator is a supplied air respirator where it's delivering breathable air through a hose or that is connected to the face. So uh, think firefighters, uh, scuba tanks. That is a supplied air respirator, but doesn't necessarily have to be like that. It doesn't have to have an air tank on your back. It could be an air tank from somewhere else where the hose is just following you through whatever the area is. These are provided, they, or they do provide protection in the, those immediately dangerous to life and health atmospheres and can be provided through a hood or a self-contained breathing apparatus. Uh, they call that SCBA SCUBA, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. So... Uh, if an employee is required to wear a respirator, that employee will be required to do a medical evaluation and a fit test uh, will be performed by a licensed healthcare provider. The company will receive either a passing or failing grade. We do not keep medical records and they are not provided to us. And let's see, there are additional training requirements regarding respiratory protection if and when it is required. So that is it. That is the uh, podcast for today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your company safety representative. Um, otherwise, don't forget to subscribe for the podcast to get the automatic downloads. That's as simple as opening up your podcast app on your iPhone and uh, searching under the hard hat. And then from there, you um, tap the check mark at the top, or you can go to the YouTube page and search or go to you know YouTube and search under the hard hat and uh, you'll be able to find that there and you can subscribe on YouTube. Uh, as always, thank you for listening and be good, be safe. If you can't be good, at least be safe.